Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be doing a clean with me RV style. I'm currently living in an RV with my husband, my daughter, and I'm currently 33 weeks pregnant. So living in an RV with a toddler with being pregnant is absolutely crazy. But today I'm just going to go ahead and kind of show you what I do to clean up. I'm cleaning the entire RV. I will also have an RV um, tour up on my channel in a few days, so stay tuned for that. I kind of take you through the whole thing and show you the cabinets and everything that I have. I will have an organized video coming out next week, so lots of videos coming out. Make sure you are subscribed. Your bell notification is turned on, but let's go ahead and start cleaning this very messy RV. Welcome. If you are new, you are probably wondering why I am living in an RV, um, being pregnant and having a toddler. We are from Pennsylvania. We do have a house there, but my husband is a professional motocross racer. So we come down to the warm states during the winter time so he can train for his upcoming season. His season starts in March, right when the baby is due. Literally the baby is due a few days after his first race. Um, so we always come down to the south for the winter, so we are living in an RV until the beginning of March, um, and then we will head back home. So for now, there is going to be RV content, like cleaning videos, organizing, day in the life. So I hope you guys subscribe if you are new, and welcome to my channel. I'm not going to lie, this RV, I thought coming down here, like we've done this for so many years, so I'm used to living in an RV or like a travel trailer or something like that for a few months at a time. But once you have kids, like it is a total different setting. It is so hard to keep this clean. Like I had a goal coming down here that like the countertop was always gonna be clean. All like all the toys were always gonna be, be picked up and that is just not how it has been. It is kind of like survival mode every single day in here. I can't imagine when we have a baby with all the bottles and everything, it's going to be an adventure for sure. But like I said, it is really hard to keep cleaning here. So I'm constantly cleaning, trying to keep up with the dishes. If you are living in an RV or if you, even if you take like RV trips, the one tip that I have is just constantly trying to pick up like once you make a mess so like after breakfast I'll try to go ahead and wash those dishes so I don't like accumulate them all day if I take something out to make it like a box of pancake mix I'll go ahead and put the mix back right away um, shoes I try to keep in a drawer at all times and try to keep like up with our laundry putting it in the basket just because it is a smaller space so it's a lot easier just to have like a few things laying out and making it look like a total mess Shoes up if 
if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty so I explained this in the RV tour video that I'm doing, but we're kind of using the front seats as like a little bit of storage right now for the bigger baby items. Like we have the baby swing on the one seat, we have a gate and things like that. So it does kind of irritate me a little bit that the front of it always looks like it's kind of messy, but I didn't want to go ahead and put that stuff like out in the trailer and like worry about it getting dirty or anything like that. So... For now, it is just sitting up here in the front seats. the good thing about living in an rv and cleaning is it only takes me about 30 minutes to clean the entire rv i think if i was doing like a deep clean like scrubbing the floors and things like that it would take me like 45 to 50 minutes but it is a lot better than trying to keep up with the house that is like one good thing about being down here is like keeping up with like housework or view work is not nearly as much as it would be at home. As soon as I turn on the vacuum, my little one always comes running because she wants to help. And she has recently been doing this and she will vacuum like the entire RV for us. And I think it is hilarious and she loves doing it and I love her doing it because I don't have to. And she does a pretty good job for only being almost two and a half. Next, I'm gonna go over here to the dinette and just kind of clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off of it and then wipe it down. And the spray that I'm using in here right now is just the Mrs. Myers. I'm just trying to use up a lot of the cleaning products that I had at home. And when I'm all out of them, I'll go ahead and go to Target and buy like some new ones. So there is real tile floor in here, so it makes it a little bit harder to kind of keep up with it. It kind of shows every single little thing. So I'm thinking about getting maybe like a Swiffer or some kind of mop. The only thing is I already have a vacuum 
and a big broom and I don't have anywhere to really put those so I'm not sure if like Swiffer makes a like a I don't, one that folds down or something if you have any recommendations of what I can use on the tile for cleaning it go ahead and let me know without having to get down on my hands and knees and scrub it but next I am in the half bath that we have we have a full bathroom and then this is the little half bath um I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off the countertops and kind of clean out the sink and just wipe everything down so settled I miss with you still it feels just like I'm waiting for so next I'm moving in to the back bedroom my daughter and I sleep in here my husband will sleep with us some nights it's not the biggest bed so some nights if he comes in and me and Evelyn are like sprawled out all over the bed he will just sleep out front um, but Evelyn will be sleeping in here, back here, probably the entire time. Um, we only have one window back here, so it stays super dark, and she just, she loves sleeping back here. She'll come and get me when she's ready to go to bed at nighttime. She will, she will go down, and she will lay in there, and she will fall asleep within. Probably the longest it's ever taken her, I think, was like 15 minutes to fall asleep back here. But it is a lot better than her sleeping out front, because it's such an open space and she plays out there all day. So I feel like she feels like it's not really like a bed, like a bedtime setting. So she likes sleeping back here. When the baby comes, I'm going to sleep out front with the baby. Um, just because like the kitchen is there and for like pumping and breastfeeding and changing and all of that, I won't disturb um, Evelyn <laughs> because I do not want to disturb her sleep at all. But this is where currently I am sleeping and she is sleeping. But when baby comes, I will move out to the front. Something better. Wait a second. I want to stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stay too much because you don't understand. You got me. We also have a towel hanging on the window. Because for some reason, all of the other windows have two shades on them. They have like a sun shade and then a blackout shade. And for some reason, the back bedroom does not have the blackout part. So we have to try and black it out um, ourselves. So I use a towel and then I put a blanket over. That way it stays really dark in the room. My daughter is just someone who needs the room to be extremely dark to not when she wakes. If she were to wake up in the middle of the night or even at like... 6 a.m. and see that there was some kind of light she automatically thinks it's time to get up so as if we can keep it as dark as possible she sleeps the best so the last part to this rv clean with me is going to be cleaning the main bathroom which has the shower in it i'm just wiping everything down in the tour video i go ahead and show you the bathroom because it is really big it has a ton of space and storage in it it's really nice this entire rv has a ton of storage in it like cabinets i'm not even using all of the cabinets which is really nice but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy rv content i will be back to my normal content probably once we get home in March or April and I will be doing a ton of baby stuff filming the birth and all of that so make sure you go ahead and stay tuned but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>